NASA detected a mysterious object speeding toward Earth. And some actual bona fide experts think it might not be your typical space rock or maybe any kind of rock or a natural phenomenon at all. Right now, something is racing through our solar system at 61 kilometers per second, and scientists can't agree on what it really is. Some say it's just another comet. Others think it might be something far more extraordinary. Uh, with zero meaning it's a natural object, like a comet, for sure. And 10 meaning it's definitely a technological object. And the evidence? Well, it's been getting stranger by the day. What you're about to see challenges everything we thought we knew about visitors from deep space. This object, called 3I Atlas, has been shooting through our solar system faster than almost anything we've ever tracked. What if an interstellar object whirling through our solar system is actually a nuclear-powered spacecraft sent by aliens to test how humans respond? It's already well inside Jupiter's orbit, racing toward the Sun at incredible speed. But here's what has everyone talking. This isn't from our neighborhood. This visitor came from another star system entirely. And the closer scientists have looked, the more questions they've raised. By the time this video ends, you'll understand why some of the world's top scientists are debating what this thing really is. Posed Comet is catching the attention of some of the nation's most renowned scientists, as one Harvard professor is raising the theory this may actually be a piece of alien technology. But first, let me show you exactly what we're dealing with. Back in July 2025, the Atlas Telescope System picked up what appeared to be a routine space rock. Nothing special, right? Wrong. As astronomers calculated its path, they realized something incredible. This object didn't belong to our solar system. It came from the stars. Now, we've only seen two other interstellar visitors before this one, ever. So, 3I Atlas is already extraordinarily rare just by existing. But wait until you hear what makes it truly unusual. When the James Webb Space Telescope turned its incredible instruments toward this visitor, what it found defied expectations. The first clue that something was different. The ice composition. Normal comets have a predictable mix of water ice and carbon dioxide. But 3I Atlas. Scientists detected what appears to be roughly an 8 to 1 ratio of CO2 to water ice. That's not just unusual. That's genuinely alien level chemistry. Then Hubble spotted something even more intriguing. As this object heated up approaching the sun, it began releasing a distinctive teardrop-shaped cloud of dust. But here's the fascinating part. Observations suggested the color of that cloud changed over time, growing redder throughout July, potentially revealing different materials beneath the surface. But that's not even the most puzzling discovery. When scientists analyzed the spectral data from this object, they found something unexpected. According to some analyses, the object appeared to be releasing nickel gas, but without the corresponding iron signatures you'd normally expect. Now, you might think, so what? Space rocks contain metals. But here's the issue. When cosmic objects heat up, they typically release iron and nickel together. That's standard cosmic chemistry. But if the early data is correct, 3I Atlas might be releasing nickel in unusual ways. It's like finding an unexpected chemical signature. It raises questions about what processes could cause this. And there's more. The trajectory of this object follows a path remarkably close to our solar system's orbital plane. While not impossible, it's statistically unusual for interstellar visitors. So what do you think could explain these anomalies? Because what I'm about to tell you next sparked a major scientific debate. Enter Harvard astrophysicist Avi Loeb. He looked at this evidence and proposed something most scientists won't even consider. Uh, with zero meaning it's a natural object, like a comet, for sure. And 10 meaning it's definitely a technological object. What if this object has artificial origins? Loeb's hypothesis suggests that the unusual spectral signatures could potentially result from engineered materials. He questions whether that precise trajectory might indicate something more than random chance. In a paper co-authored with collaborators from the Initiative for Interstellar Studies, Loeb argued that we should at least consider non-natural explanations. Think about it from his perspective. If an advanced civilization wanted to study another star system, wouldn't camouflaging a probe as a natural comet be the perfect approach? 
but the scientific establishment had a very different reaction. NASA and mainstream astronomers pushed back hard against these suggestions. Official NASA statements emphasized that current observations support natural explanations for three eye atlases' behavior. Multiple independent research groups have analyzed the same data and consistently concluded the object shows characteristics of a natural comet. Astronomer Jason Wright noted that Loeb has gained a reputation for suggesting things could be alien spacecraft even when there's little objective reason to think so. Other experts have been even more direct, with some calling the artificial hypothesis unsupported by current evidence. So who's interpreting the data correctly? What do you think when you hear these competing explanations? Here's what the scientific consensus actually suggests. Look, I'll be honest with you. As fascinating as the artificial hypothesis sounds, and believe me, it would be incredible. The natural explanation appears most likely. That unusual ice composition? It probably tells us about the different conditions around the star where this comet formed billions of years ago. Different stellar environments create different chemistry. The spectral signatures that sparked all the speculation. They're more likely the result of unique formation processes we're still learning to understand. That statistically unusual trajectory? Still rare, but not impossibly so for objects ejected from other star systems. But here's what genuinely excites me though. Whether artificial or natural, 3i Atlas is revealing that interstellar space contains far more diversity than we expected. And we're about to get our best data yet. In just about two weeks, October 3rd, this object will pass remarkably close to Mars, and we have multiple spacecraft positioned to observe it. NASA's Mars Reconnaissance Orbiter, equipped with its powerful high-rise camera, will attempt to image 3i Atlas from relatively close range. While the resolution won't show fine details, it could provide crucial information about the object's structure and behavior. This represents the first time in history we'll potentially photograph an interstellar object from another planet. The James Webb Telescope continues tracking it as well. By late October, when it reaches its closest approach to the Sun, we'll have unprecedented data. Here's why this discovery matters, regardless of its ultimate nature. Every interstellar visitor teaches us something new about planetary formation around other stars. 3i Atlas essentially serves as a messenger from billions of years ago, carrying chemical information from its distant birthplace. Consider this. This object formed around a star we can't even identify, under conditions vastly different from our solar system, and somehow traveled across interstellar space to reach us. Whether it's a natural comet or something more mysterious, it represents our direct connection to the broader galaxy. So what's your take on this cosmic mystery, natural phenomenon, or something we haven't considered? Share your thoughts in the comments. I genuinely want to hear your perspective on this. If you found this deep dive into interstellar visitors fascinating, make sure you're subscribed with notifications on.